Hello and welcome. This is the introduction video for the Qt tutorial from tutorialcoding.com. In this video, I will briefly explain what the Qt framework is good for, who this tutorial is aimed at, and what parts each tutorial unit consists of. So what's the Qt framework? It's a cross-platform application development framework that allows the creation of GUI applications that are executable on all major desktops and that also mimic the visuals of the desktops, of the operating systems. And it's a relatively easy to write portable code compared to alternatives. It's created for application developers, so it comes with an excellent documentation. It has a very consistent behavior. The documentation matches the framework, the libraries, and the classes are sorted in a very sensible way. And it comes with a very feature-rich major, li major library that provides higher level features like GUI components, lower level features like network access and file system manipulation and anything in between. And finally, it's fun to use. The Qt framework really aims to go out of your way and just let you write applications instead of hunt for some obscure bugs. And it's really good at that. Who is this tutorial for? The tutorial is for people who are interested to learn how to write cross-platform GUI applications. And this tutorial contains examples. So it's for people who have this visual mindset, who want to see an application being built and learn from learn by doing. It's a practical reference for various parts of the framework. So when you go to the library and say, okay, this is some part of the library, what does it do in practical terms? Then you can just jump over to tutorialcoding.com, watch the video and see, ah, that's what it does. And finally, it requires a basic understanding of the C++ programming language. This is not a C++ tutorial, but you won't need very advanced features of C++, so it's really just the basics. What are classes, what is class inheritance, how types work, what is operator overloading. Qt comes with a very um, comprehensive library, so you don't really need to use external libraries. The standard library is similar, just the core basics of the C++ uh, programming language. How does this, this tutorial work? This tutorial is con composed of various units, and each of these tutorial units focuses on a particular subtopic. Each unit comes with a comprehensive description, a source code, that contains an application, an executable one, that demonstrates this subtopic, and a YouTube video in which I live code the application and explain how it is uh, created and what parts are important. The units are uh, sorted into three basic levels. The basic level, the intermediate level, and the advanced level. And the the tutorial comes with a topic index that uh, provides a good overview of the units. The source code can be downloaded and is at the top of each unit. There is a link download unit source. It is usually a Qt Creator project, so you can easily open it with Qt Creator and just execute it comes with a comprehensive unit text, which contains of an, uh, consists of an introduction, an explanation of new classes with a link to the official Qt reference, a walkthrough of the example application, screenshot of the example application, and a conclusion. On the example of the Hello World application, there is an introduction, a link and description of the Qt classes that are used, and a link to the official Qt documentation which contains a very detailed description of the classes. 
Then there is a description of the sample application, what parts it consists of, which are interesting, and finally a conclusion. Each unit also comes with a YouTube video, like this one. It's embedded at the top of the unit. And in each of these videos, I write an application live and explain the various parts. I also often compile and run the application so that you can see what difference each of these lines of codes does. And finally there is the topic index. At the top there is the navigation which lets you walk through the units and the topic index provides an overview of all the units with a very short description sorted into the difficulty levels and you can quickly move to the various units here. Thanks very much for watching. I hope I convinced you to use this tutorial to learn great things about the Qt framework. I hope you will enjoy the tutorial and I wish you goodbye.